Hello, welcome to DrummerConnection.com. Today's drum lesson is Linear Grooves Part 2. For today's lesson, we're going to look at a groove that I came up with for a song called In The Way. It's a song that's featured on DrummerConnection.com on the play along page, so be sure and check it out. It's a really cool song to play along with. What I did for this A section or intro to the song was I created a four bar pattern. I'm going to break this thing down and explain how I created it, but first, let's listen to it. I want to explain a little bit what's going on there. Basically the theme of that groove, that linear groove, that 16th note flow, that just repeats every measure for, for the actually the entire section. And you could tell what makes it that four bar pattern are those two separate little what I call just flurries or clusters of 32nd note funk figures if you will. Basically slow down, it's nothing more than singles and doubles and combinations between those three voices. But first, let's look at this linear groove. So let's slow it way way down, it's just a one bar pattern, a steady flow of 16th notes, it sounds like this. There it is, really slow. Now, I've said it a million times, but it, it bears repeating again. You have to really relax at this point and just stay right there, super slow, even slower than that if you need it, and just make sure that muscle memory kicks in. You want everything nice and comfortable and flowing because we're going to slip in out of this with these little quick flurries of 32nd notes. It's going to be tricky, so you really need to have this groove down. So let's slowly pick this up a little bit. I'll put a click track to let you guys hear against that, and here it is at 65 beats per minute. Now let's listen to just the linear groove at 78 beats per minute, that's the actual tempo of the song. Okay, now it's time to introduce the 32nd note flurries that are popping in and out of here. We're going to slow this thing way back down again, and remember, there's two of them, and they come on bar two and bar four, so we're going to look at just bar two first. What I'll do, like I said, slow this down, and I'm going to loop just the second measure over and over again and let you guys hear this 32nd note flow really slow. This is going to take some patience. Now remember, anytime you're dealing with uh, linear grooves and these uh, 30 second note funk patterns that I like to call them, uh, note placement super, super important. And the tinier those notes are and the faster they go by, the more important it is to really control them. Because any note that's not sitting perfectly in the pocket is going to take the flow and make it feel awkward. So I've said it before, slowing it way, way down is important. So once it gets comfortable, let's start to pick up the tempo. Okay, moving on, let's look at the final piece of this puzzle. We're going to look at measure four. Same sort of things going on. 
beat two and beat three. I slip in and out of this uh, 30 second note funk pattern between the kick, snare, and hi-hat. This one's a little trickier. I actually threw the snare drum off beat one 30 second note just to give it a really crazy funk feel. So as always, note placement, if it's not just dead spot on, this one can really sound kind of strange. So I'll do the same thing, slow this way down and let's check it out. Time to start picking up the tempo. So once again, here's the four bar pattern up to speed the tempo of the song. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed breaking down this groove today. When I learned this and was basically getting this comfortable and trying to make it feel as good as I could, I basically approached it the same way we looked at it today. I took the 16th note linear groove, the theme, and just played that over and over a million times until it felt comfortable. Then I took each of these 30 second note funk patterns that were slipping in and out of and did the same thing. Talk about looping for hours over and over. but. I can't say it enough, you have to do that. You have to really relax, slow this stuff down, um, put it in sections, loop it and loop it and loop it, and then you'll be able to sort of spread out and do the entire pattern. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.